I don't want to call people names, you know, like I, I don't like to call people names because when you label somebody, like you label, you know, a gentleman like these that we are looking at here on this video, you call them bluffers, right? Blofez. What happens is, you know, maybe one day they might show a different side of themselves. You know, they might show themselves honorable and you've already labeled them something. So that's why I really don't like to call people names and, and, and drop labels on them. But uh, it's very, very hard not to. It's very hard not to. So we're going to listen to these guys. These guys, they are uh, RNTK. Rassemblement National Tet Calais or something like that. Uh, let me get the name correct. It's called, yeah, Rassemblement National Tet Calais. They, they are obviously down with the political party, PHTK, which is the party of Michel Martelli and now Jovenel Moise. Um, and they are essentially Duvaliers, um, even when uh, Preval was in office. So it's not like they're just, they just follow after power. They, uh, they just have a way that they see, they see things, which is, uh, you know, they like to support power, but not just any power. They, they, they want to support absolute power in the face of, uh, the people, you know, anti-pep, anti-population, anti-the mass, you know. So we're going to listen to this guy. I really wanted to comment on some of the things that he was saying. And uh, I'm going to do this from time to time, you know. I'm just going to be, uh, you know, calling out the bluffers. Okay, so so let's, let's, let's take a listen. Depuis 1986, peuple haïtien a assisté à un théâtre de mauvais goût. Avec un éternel refrain, faut qu'il y aller, faut qu'il y rache mon yok. Président nous yon pas jamais de possibilité pour y arriver à matérialiser la vision pour le peuple haïtien. Yeah, I'm going to stop him right there. So he's basically saying since 1996, or did he say, no, he's actually said 1986. I always get 86 and 96. Katuvin says would be 96, and I, Katuvin sees, okay, whatever. Y'all y'all get it. <laughs> My French Creole uh, needs some working. But um, he's basically saying since 1986, which is the departure of the Duvaliers, all people been hearing is Rache Mon York, which means, you know, remove the president, throw out the president, send them away, da 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 da. And, and it's like, and then he, and then this is what stunned me about that. Cause, cause, you know, it's true. I will, I will definitely say that that's been the refrain throughout Haiti since, uh, really. It ain't. It hasn't been since '86. I would say it's been since uh, '57. That's what Haitians been saying. It's just under Duvalier, no one could really say anything. People just had to try to get up, get out. And in fact, that was the circumstances that brought me into the United States at the age of three, um, in 1984. So, um, so yeah, he's wrong there. It's been going on for quite a while. But yeah, people. People are saying that because whoever's in power is not getting done. And he's saying, oh, it's the people that are saying the president has to go that are stopping the president from doing stuff. And that's a joke right there. That's a joke, folks. When you become the president, you are clothed in immense, immense power. And if you do not know how to wield that power, it's on you. It, you can't blame anybody else. The buck stops there. And I really, it really, and then Vim, like it gets on my nerves when there's someone saying that those who have no power are the ones to blame. And 
and they're sympathetic to those who have all the power, who have all the security, who have all the food, the funds, and uh, the, the leverage in the country. And if the people want you to go, it's because you're not doing what they need or you're not. And even if you can't do what they need, articulate it to the point where they can actually believe that you're trying and what, what it is. You know, but that's not what we're getting out of Haiti. So th this guy's a bluffer. His name is, I don't want to call him a name. I apologize, uh, Brother Kennerton Lewis. You're just misguided, in my opinion. Um, but Kennerton Lewis, okay? So let, let's continue uh, listening to what he has to say. Vie peuple là, pas jamais amélioré. Condition de vie, moun ki pi ba yo, pas jamais changé. La vie moun nan cité soleil, pas jamais changé. Moun nan mantisan, moun nan solino, moun nan la saline, moun nan raboto, moun sa yo, yo vin pi pov. And again, he's saying, oh, the people's situation doesn't change. People have become poor. People have become uh, in uh, their, their, their quality of life has degraded. And the only people you could blame are those in power. And it's not like things were gravy under Duvalier either. You know, there was all the same suffering. I mean, it was a, it was slightly better. And it was only slightly better because things have been on the on a decline. But the decline began back then. The decline began back in uh, during the Duvalier era. So let's listen. Parce que toujours gagnons soi-disant opposition destructive, criminelle, financée par une partie de la classe dominante là pour empêcher le pays à stable. Et pas grand quel pays sous la terre qui est arrivé à développer dans l'instabilité. Escouade démocratique qui se entraille, peuple haïtien, qui fait ça, c'est FIFI, NINI, c'est pour le pays d'Haïti jouer une stabilité. Parce que véritable bouclier, nous, c'est peuple haïtien. Peuple haïtien, qui voulait vérité capable de établir tout bon vrai sous dossier l'argent Petro Caribéa. Peuple haïtien voulait vérité. Peuple haïtien n'a pas voulu injustice. Toute démarche qui visait pour faire lumière de façon intégrale, rivé jailli sous toute Comment l'argent pétro caribé a été dépensé et l'escouade démocratique encourage le Hold on, you didn't catch that. So he basically said every effort that is being made to find out what happened to the petro Caribe money, where it went, how it was spent, you know, or misspent. His organization supports that, but he, he hesitated for a minute to say that. He paused. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to rewind it for you guys. These guys is, oh, I don't want to call names, but man, let, let, let's listen to this again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jaï, sous tout comment l'argent Petro Caribe a été dépensé et escouade démocratique. Yeah, that took a while, bro. That took a while. All right, let's listen. Face à une crise sociétale, face à une crise de confiance généralisée en un pays, il est plus que normal pour dossier petro caribéa pour nous faire appel à un arbitrage neutre. Un arbitrage qui ne peut pas pencher ni mon pouvoir, 
y a un arbitrage qui peut pencher ni beaucoup d'opposition, mais un arbitrage qui peut faire un travail dans l'impartialité. I can't help it but la laughing. So he's basically asking for an arbiter to decide what happened. He's basically agreeing. Try he doesn't want to say the OAS, but he's saying there needs to be another uh, party that comes and decides on what's going on with the Petro Caib. And and that's really kind of null and void. It's and and it's really kind of misplaced because He's asking that, uh, you know, uh, uh, independent, un, uninterested party uh, be involved. But so far, what we've gotten was from an uninterested party. It's from the court of auditors. All they did was audit the accounts and say what was what and what, what is not. There still has to be a judicial process that takes place. And in that, there is a process in, 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 choose, in picking a judge. There is a process in uh, uh, presenting evidence, presenting uh, witnesses, presenting, um, and whether it be a jury trial or, or by which it should be, um, there, there, you know, there's all types of... Uh, steps in that to ensure that both sides, which would be the state against uh, the culprits, um, are treated fairly. So um, he's actually being very dishonest in, 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 in laying out his argument, you know, but, but let's continue, let's continue. Attention, maintenant, c'est juste pour informer peuple haïtien situation difficile que je dis et éventuellement menace que ti régional boulos a fait sous moi parce que dans date qui était jeudi 11 juillet 2019 moi rencontré on moi recevoir en sommation de délimat SA sommation qui ça yo reproché alors, il t'a dit, eh, m'a dit des choses qui ne pas vraies autour de Réginal, de Ti Réginal Boulos. Et ce n'est pas moi-même seulement. Now, this gentleman, he says he's receiving <laughs> threats from uh, Réginal Boulos, a businessman, um, uh, I believe a former senator for a short time as well, but he's saying he's receiving threats from him. But he feels very comfortable in calling them names. He calls him T. Reginald Boulos. And even this uh, second time, he said the name right. He said Reginald Boulos. But he, but he had to stop himself to say, it's T. Reginald. See, T means small. And when they say T, they're usually trying to say you're somebody... Like if you were someone who worked in the yard or someone who worked in a, in the house or a child or or a, a poor person, they usually would call you T whatever, small, this and that. That's what it means. It doesn't mean like you're the, a junior and your that's your father's name as well or anything else. It's just it's 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 a it's it's degrading. You know, we all remember when. Uh, I believe it was somebody in the past government. I believe it was the Minister of Justice, but he called Lillian Pierre, Pierre Paul T. Lee Lee. And she allows people to uh, say that to her who are her friends. And it, it's a term of endearment among them. But, sh you know, it was a big brouhaha because, you know, these, these two weren't seeing things eye to eye. He would and uh, a sitting uh, minister of justice at that would, would uh, call her that, you know, which is, like I've said, an, an insulting term. So let's continue to listen to this bluffer. Uh, I'm sorry, he's not a bluffer. He's just somebody I uh, definitely don't see eye to eye with. So let's continue to listen to him. Comment sommation ça, camarade Rosemont Jean-Gaël, 
et journaliste, il y a un brillant journaliste que nous avons dans le pays, en tout, Jojo Loke, qui a sommation dans le pays. Dans la manifestation qui a parlé avec le président Jovenel Moïse, I gotta stop this here and introduce this gentleman right here. This is uh Wozman Jean. Um he's he's again somebody who I, I definitely don't see eye to eye with. Uh I do not see it for him at all. <laughs> but he is <laughs> highly entertaining to listen to to watch. Cause he I don't know. You see all these guys in this shot. Let let me see if you I don't know if you guys can see my mouth. How do they keep a straight face? How? <laughs> Yo, if I was sitting back here, I couldn't keep a straight face, man. They must have, like, earbuds on or something, man, Rock, because I couldn't. I could not, especially when this guy comes on. Everything about him is funny and, and ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, we just don't see things eye to eye, he and I. So let, let's listen to some more. <laughs> Et les qui écrit contre Job Nel, ont décidé parce que les gens sont jaloux de vous. Ils ne veulent que tout le monde connaît. Les gens qui sont jaloux de vous, c'est les gens qui sont satisfaits et les gens qui sont tués. Les gens qui sont jaloux de Job Nel, ils ont dit que c'est quand ils ont tué Job ils satisfaits. Eh bien, il y a des policiers qui ont garanti la sécurité pour empêcher les manifestants de déchouquer et de mouter le président Job Nel. Je dis à les policiers, ça, ils ont servi, ils ont servi. En pile persécution. Et persécution, ça a sorti de Pierre Espérance, organisation soi-disant droits humains, qui a fait pression sous la euh, direction générale de la police, fait pression sous l'inspection générale de la police pour être pour capable d'arrêter les policiers. So what he's doing here, he's basically saying that when there was a protest going on and people were trying to go to the National Palace, um, I believe the president came out of his private residence for a few days and uh, thought he would act like he's doing some work. And uh, when the people tried to march to the National Palace, uh, there was a lot of, uh, you know, police officers who, who harmed the people, you know, and it was not a violent situation on this day. Uh, I actually remember the reports when they came out that morning. It was on a Monday morning, but um, yeah. So it was that? That's what uh, Wasman is talking about, and uh, yeah, he's saying that these people they won't be happy until the president is is dead, until President Jovenel Moise is, is because they're jealous of him. But no, they just want the president to leave so that um you know, uh, transition again can be put in place uh, to uh, re-found, re-stabilize the country, you know, and um, I have thoughts on that. And, you know, I really think President Moise ought to consider resigning because at this point, there cannot be there won't be elections that will have the confidence of the people. This this won't happen with him in office. It just won't, you know. And um, he has questions to answer. He he has problems with justice over the Petrocaribe situation. So it just won't happen. But that's all talk for another day. Let's let's listen. Let's. So oh yeah, and so Mr. Jean here, he wants to put the blame on the human rights organizations because they're writing to the uh, direction of the police to arrest the officers involved in this uh, massacre. And I'm like, what's the big idea? What's the problem? Who cares? I mean, he could let people talk, freedom of speech. I mean, that that is what this group, these Duvaliers, I mean, they, they, they don't allow. Like, it's not like Pierre Esperance is, is out there shooting up people in La Saline to, to, to prove his point as government officials are, are involved in doing, he's simply sending, sending letters, going on, going on to radio stations and stating uh, the position of his organization. So these guys, they, wow, they, I just don't see it for them. That's all. I don't see, them, I, I don't see it for them. Let's listen to some more. 
la presse témoin tout. Longtemps sous préval, le, la police a mené un chef d'opération, ça y pour aller couvrir la manifestation, ça y est. Il toujours des policiers qui ont caméra tout. Et m'a dit qu'il y a, à partir de jeudi, les policiers ont aussi mis qui ont couvert la manifestation, qui ont sécurisé la manifestation, il faut qu'il y ait une propre caméra. Il faut qu'il y ait des gens qui ont mis en place, qui ont qui ont attaqué. Parce que les gens même ont réagi proportionnellement à des bandits, voyous, délinquants, qui ont yeah, I got to stop right here before this thought is lost. Um, I actually agree with him. I mean, he said under Preval, the police wore cameras. Well, if they're not wearing cameras now, I can give you a few reasons why, you know. Um, so so right there, he's kind of telling on himself. But he say, he's, he's saying the police should wear cameras, and I agree with that. Um, although, and, and, you know, I support the police. Uh, I think uh, it's very important. Um, very important institution in our country. Uh, but um, I do think uh, that, you know, he says so that the police could, res when the, he says when the police respond proportionally to what they're being, they're attacked. Now, don't, don't lie. Don't say that the police are, are responding proportionally to the attacks the protesters allegedly are, are um doing upon them because it's not proportional they have guns assault rifles and they say you know some protesters are throwing rocks at them so it's not proportion and that's all good like i'm i'm not i'm not begging for police to have a proportional response to any attack on them i don't think that's that's how they show their legitimacy to keep everybody secure but I just don't like that he's being disingenuous and saying that. So, all right, let's continue on. Programme pour attaquer policiers, yon face pour intimider policiers, que yon connaît yon pral jouen des organisations soi-disant droits humains pour venir démoraliser police là. Eh bien, nous mandé qu'on y a, faut que police tout, des caméras, des petites caméras intelligence pour filmer moun sa yo. Yon façon pour yon capable la guerre sur les réseaux sociaux, la guerre dans la télévision, action yon même yon sibi comme policier qui rempli mission yon comme institution qui l'a pour servir et protéger. Pour... So yeah, he says he wants the police to have smart cameras. Um, I'm not sure exactly what he means by smart cameras. Um, but he says, yeah, they have a cameras on them so they could put on social media uh the type of attacks they're they're uh having to endure while trying to uh i guess um keep protesters contained which really that's what it is they're just keeping the protest contained like anytime they say oh they're accompanying protesters that's not what it is they're trying to make sure the protest doesn't get out of hand and get violent and like i said in earlier videos non-violent protests in haiti just does not work and the reason why non-violent protests in haiti does not work is because we do not have a an electoral system where the people's voice is actually heard so therefore politicians when they see a peaceful protests don't feel the need to respond to a peaceful protest because it is not by those people that their votes that their position matters okay so that you know and i'm and that's just an observation it's not that i support violence in protests i'm just saying like for those in that situation non-violent protests just doesn't work for them Okay, it just doesn't work. Calling a spade a spade. Let's continue. Pour qui ça nous dit ça? Policier qui t'a traîné élément qui passe élément de trois pour trois là. Comportement pas correct. Cependant, en même temps tout, vous devez filmer combien coup trois policiers à recevoir avant lui même réagir. Personne. Aucun média, aucune télévision, aucun réseau social, pas montrer sa police à Sibi. Jusqu'à présent, il y a une police qui est maligne dans le pays. À coup de roche là. À coup de roche. Mais, où jouer une pièce espérance, 
ou jouer l'autre monde qui a intérêt dans deux choukais, dans l'instabilité politique pays, qui a fait tout, qui a employé tout type de fige que vous n'avez pas imaginé pour faire la police la paix, accomplir mission. Eh bien, nous même jeudi, nous portons solidarité par les policiers. Et nous demandons si les policiers sont tout. En difficulté pour jouer un avocat qui est capable, qui techniquement, il y a besoin d'un avocat techniquement, compétent, dans la mesure où la persécution persiste contre eux, eh bien, il faut que les policiers eux-mêmes ne viennent pas pour contre eux. C'est même gens, les lavales la sont infiltrés, bandits dans l'armée, à marcher voler pour écraser l'armée. Pourtant, c'est lavales la sont encore qui ont opéré. Mais toute société a venu à l'armée jusqu'à ce que l'armée vienne côté là. Je dis à vous, nous avons l'armée là, parce que l'armée a ici la manger yo, l'armée puis espérant ça dévorer yo, l'armée c'est si a déchiré yo, on y a là, on vient demander, tout le monde d'armée, l'armée d'Haïti. Tout le monde veut l'armée d'Haïti, je dis. Gardez ça qui a passé, quoi de beau ça. C'est vrai. Tout le monde voudrait avoir une Haitian armée, mais je pense more so for just the pride of having an army, a force for defense, and a force to, you know, respond to disasters and things like that. I don't think for it is to protect the civilian population during protests. I mean, we're, we're, it, it, it's almost like he's, in, he's, uh, he's um, advocating for civil war. These guys, I don't know what is going on. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, look, I'm actually, I can't even listen to the rest of this video because it's kind of hard to take it seriously from this point on. And there's about maybe a, about a minute and a half, two minutes left. So I'm actually going to not listen to any more. But I, I got to talk to you people. Like, listen, there's a lot of nonsense going on down in Haiti, right? Uh... And we actually have to do more than just talk about it, write about it. You know, and I'm speaking to myself, and that's why I took my year and a half off from writing, because more must be done. We have to share. We have to bring our friends along. You know, you know, share, share this video, share the Haiti Sentinel page with them this is uh gonna be where the news comes from defend haiti is still gonna be there but it's gonna serve other purposes but for right now get them on the haiti sentinel page page you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna first start by informing people we're gonna start having discussions you know we're i'm gonna do a call-in show eventually i hope it could be group hangouts sunday mornings or whatnot where, you know, if you want to participate, you get on, and we have a good few hours of a, of conversation, um, and we plan on concrete actions we are going to take. There's no more room to be shy. Like, I've been shy before because, hey, I was raised in the U.S., um, you know, I my Creole's not, you know, you could tell it has an English accent to it. So I've been a bit shy about getting involved, but we have to get involved. Um, it is our inheritance, um, whether you were born in the U.S. or anywhere else. But if you are of Haitian descent, it is your inheritance. And uh, we have a right to... Uh, fight for this and fight for what's right and if we know what's right uh we need to uh impose this and yes i use the word impose because that's where where it is right now um you can't just ask i know too many joshua that go down there and you know they get hurt or killed um trying to ask We can't, we, it can't be like that anymore. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share this video. I mean, it really demonstrates uh, what we have uh, ahead of us. What we have ahead of us, man. What you can do today is definitely like this video. Um, share this video. Uh, 
if you have a you know people who would be interested and um if you don't already like the Haiti Sentinel page, like it and like the Defend Haiti page, which perhaps most of you already do. And um, message, you know, you know, I, I look forward to messages, uh, message your ideas. You know, if you want to get involved in, in the conversations that we're going to start having, uh, send a message about it. You know, and uh, I'm going to be on camera soon. Like right now, it's mostly my voice you hear with these videos um, I'm publishing. Um, and you've seen my words, written words. Uh, but I will be getting on camera in the next few weeks. There's a few more bits of equipment that I do have to get. You know, uh, I always take support. Don't forget, uh, I don't mind support. So cash out at Samuel Maxime uh, if you do want to speed up these processes but um, yeah we about to we about to make things happen y'all and uh, definitely with you it's a movement you know it's more than just uh, just an effort man we could we could really make something happen and that's all peace